Okay, in this Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing, we're going to be going over another blind bag ship, in this case, the USS Jaeger. So here we have the contents of the Jaeger kit. First, the ship itself, and the ship itself looks kind of weird, but I think that's just the nature of the ship. Um, as far as the quality of the model is, the paint job is exactly meh. It's not very not good at all. Um, I have seen some of these where this paint job was really was even worse, but this one isn't so bad at all. Um, so anyway, that's the ship. I think it's kind of ugly, but. So let's take a look at the cards. Uh, first of all, let's go over Elizabeth Shelby. Two-point crew. Uh, during the modified defense step of the, the combat phase, you may reroll one of your blank results. Yeah, that's not too bad. Two points. But if you're defending against the Borg, you roll plus one defense die, and you may reroll all of your blank results during the modified defense die step. So as far as anti-Borg goes, this is excellent. This is an excellent, excellent card, um, especially for two points or three points on any ship. With the amount of Borg that you see in um, tournaments these days, this Shelby is an excellent card, and pretty much worth it just for that to pick up to, to win this ship. So here's Benjamin Maxwell. Immediately before you move, you may change your maneuver. If you do so, discard this card during the end phase. So he's four points. He's a seven skill, and you know discarding your captain may not sound like something you want to do, but considering the admiral cards that are out there. This isn't so much of a sacrifice. Uh, this can really be a game changer. You put him with Admiral Kirk, so he's a skill nine by default. And then when you discard him, you still have you have Captain Kirk take over at skill eight. So uh, it's kind of a spendy combo, but having a changing your maneuver at the right time might actually be the difference between a win and a loss. So especially then you still get to shoot it at skill eight afterwards, or you still you're still running at skill nine up until the point where you discard them at the end of the, the turn. Because you don't discard them immediately, you discard them at the end of the turn. So yeah, that's. I think he's an excellent captain if you pair him with the Admiral card. Reginald Barkley, he is a repairer. Disable this card and roll defense dice. For each evade, repair one damage to your hull. If you repair two or more damage with this action, place an auxiliary token beside your ship. If you repair three damage with this action in a single round, discard this card. So maybe, you know, you may not want to uh, roll three evades with this, but he's four points for an action and a disable, so it'll take some time for you to be able to do it. But um, you know, up to three shield repairs or hull repairs. Um, he's your Federation captain. So here you go on to the USS Jaeger. This is a cool little ship, there's no doubt about it. When attacking with photon torpedoes, you do not need to disable the photon torpedoes. That is an incredibly, incredibly good skill or uh, ability on this ship. Um, you still have to have a target lock. You don't have to disable the torpedoes. And he's not that survival. It's only a 22 point ship. Three, two, two evades, three hull, three shields. But you can start to buff him up. You know, give him a uh, flagship card, give him the card for the free act, free target lock, or even, maybe even a free target lock with the. Uh, uh, flagship card or free battle stations get some defense boost in there like Sulu and Paris he does have two crew slots so I mean it could make this into a tough little uh, gunboat with a lot of extra cards uh, and turn it into just you know a really nice uh, a really nice ship but it's gonna take a lot of upgrades to get that far and unfortunately it doesn't work with quantum torpedoes because it's very specifically photon torpedoes so that's kind of too bad Here's the generic ship, of course. Saber class maneuvering is very good. Uh, the only red maneuver is a three come about. So this is just like, I would say, the uh, Bird of Prey. It's exactly like the Kevor class ship um, that I play. So that's a maneuver dial for the Saber class. It's not that fast, only up four. But um, the sharp twos are, are white, so that's kind of nice. And of course, it does come with photon torpedoes. And it comes with preemptive strike. Discard this card to target a ship at range two to three, and roll three attack dice. Any hit or crit damage to the ship is normal, and the target target ship does roll defense dice against this attack. It's a two point discard to get in a couple extra damage, maybe. Um, I don't know if it's an attack or not, so I don't know if it would benefit from Sky. I guess I'd have to look at the facts on the board game geek to see if that's affected by attack modifiers. So it is an action, so you may not be able to combine it with anything. 
but still. Uh, I'm not sure how good this card is. If it didn't, if you didn't get defense dice, then it would be excellent. Uh, but they do get to defend, so um, I'm not so sure what to do with this. Now let's go back to the uh, saber or the Jaeger saber class. So it does have two weapon slots, so you could use with torpedoes and the secondary torpedo launcher with its awesome ability. You're going to disable the photon torpedoes, so that's something to think about if you got the Sutherland throwing a torpedo, secondary torpedo launcher, and just buff the crap out of this ship, and you can just fly around uh, throwing torpedoes and stuff. And the tokens, I mean, there's nothing special here. Yeah, just the, uh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing special because there's no special abilities or anything here. So that's it for the um, USS Jaeger uh, blind bag uh, collective OP ship. And thanks for watching.